Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Easter baskets with the bunny. It's a really cute, I am I'm doing this one for my nephew, Uriah. So let's get started. Okay, the materials you're going to need is your, I am using black permanent vinyl with my um, transfer tape. Then for, that will be for the bucket. Then for the bunny, I am using iron on. This is navy, I thought it was black, but it's not. It's navy iron on vinyl. And I already did the measurements. So I measured from, um, not all the way on the top, but um, a little towards the top and then on the bottom and then across. I already did those measurements for that and my bucket. So we got that. Um, you will need, I, you don't have to have this, but I just got a little grass from the dollar store. Um, I got this from the dollar store and this from the dollar store. Um, you're going to need your grip mat. So you're going to need your um, scraper flattener. You're going to need your weeder. And that's about it. So let's get started. Okay. So I already have my fonts picked out, but I went to text and then I picked out this really cute Easter font from creativefabrica.com. This will be going on the bucket. So um, it is called Easter, um, the Easter font. So I made it the measurements which are about two inches in height and about four inches in width and then um that's going to be with our we're going to use for the permanent vinyl for the bucket then here i used um just a Cricut font, and that is BFC Parkway. Um, it's really bold and it's thick, and I just really liked it for the bunny. So the measurements for that was about four and a half by four and a half height by two and a half by two. I'm gonna go to make it. Okay, first we're gonna, first let's do the bucket. So we are gonna go to these three dots here and we're gonna hit hide selected. Okay, now we're gonna want to get our mat set up with our permanent vinyl. Okay, so we have our permanent vinyl set up. Now we are going to hit the continue button. Make sure that your Cricut Maker is hooked up and it is on and ready to go. So the first one we're gonna do is vinyl. I have it saved to my favorites because I use vinyl a lot. Okay, now um, we do not need anything in clamp A. We do need our fine point blade in clamp B. So now we are going to hit the load mat button. And then our computer is going to tell us to press the go button. Once it's done cutting, go ahead and hit the unload mat button. 
And now we are going to weed this out. Ta-da! Okay, when you're done with that, when you're done with the weeding part, then you're going to put on your transfer tape. Now, you're going to take the transfer tape off. Okay. We're gonna throw it that way. All right. Now, I kind of want it in the front here. So let's, I feel like that's gonna go sideways. Okay, here we go. Okay, does that look straight? Okay, that looks straight to me. Or does it look like it's going up? No, nope, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the transfer tape off. All right, now, doesn't that look cute? Okay. Now, time for the bunny. Okay, now we are going to hit continue. And we are going to select iron on. We need, um, we already have our fine point blade in clamp B. We don't need anything in clamp A. Before we hit the load mat button, we are going to make sure that we mirror this image. Don't forget to mirror the image. Scoot that over. Hit done. Okay, we should be ready to go now to load the map. Make sure that you have it on the correct way. Make sure you have enough room for it to cut. Go ahead and hit the load map button, make sure it loads, and then hit the go button. Now hit the unload button. We're going to flip this over upside down and take it off the mat. Now we're going to just need to weed out the R and the A. Okay guys, there we go. Going to, we are done with the Cricut Maker, so I'm going to turn it off. And now we are going to apply our name onto our bunny and I want it right about there so now we're gonna go over to the iron and we're gonna so you don't have to have anything fancy I just have this just a regular old um, iron I have it on um, cotton linen. I also have this, which is like butcher's paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get that suck on there. Put this over. What we're going to do is we're going to put the iron and push down for 30 seconds. After that, we're going to take this off and we're going to let it cool down for a little bit.
Okay, guys, here we go. Here's the bunny. Now, I always make sure that I unplug the iron when I'm done using it and make sure that you do have a fire extinguisher close by for safety. Okay, so now, just got this stuff here, Easter grass, and we're gonna put the Easter grass in there. Fluff it out a little bit. cute guys bring her over here on this side there we go awesome thanks for hanging out everybody and don't forget to hit the like button if you got some use out of this video and hit subscribe so that you can come back and watch more videos